we're about to unlock one of the rarest and most exclusive camos in COD history here within Modern Warfare 2, this being the Spectrum camo from COD Ghost. And the best part is, this is a base camo, so once we get this, we can use this on every weapon in the entire game, even right when we unlock it, and we can even use it on DLC weapons. So how you go about unlocking this is you actually have to use the Signal 50 Sniper Rifle. You get this at level 44, so it is gonna take a while before you can unlock this. And if we go here, we go to Gunsmith, we go to Customize, we go to Camo, there are gonna be four camo challenges challenge number one two three and four and the fourth one is spectrums and this is the camo we want to get so for this first thing we got to do is get the signal to level uh 23 and then we're going to unlock the challenge we need to unlock this camo however before that we might as well start working on the challenge beforehand that way we can get the gold camo which is get 30 kills while prone with the signal 50. oh come on and prone i cannot believe they're about to make us have to get 30 prone kills with this sniper i'd understand crouch kills but uh prone kills are gonna be interesting if we were camping in a spot in ground war it wouldn't be too bad we oh no, no we gotta oh, oh yeah so you can't uh hide behind cover because yeah crouch kills if you don't know what the spectrum camo from cod ghost is this was extremely rare because it was only available on one platform xbox and on top of this it was only a pre-order bonus so if you didn't get it when the game first launched you wouldn't be able to get it it was only available before the game launched and this was for pre-ordering the game on the microsoft store and back when cod ghost uh was out most people bought the physical version of the game i understand most people nowadays buy the digital version but back then the whole digital console thing was fairly new and for the most part people still went to walmart gamestop best buy or ordered it offline to get their copy and this was one of the first few years where you could actually fully download the game digitally so because of that not many people downloaded the game digitally and they didn't really market it that if you bought it from the microsoft store that you got this code and even if you did buy the game digitally most people bought it from gamestop or other websites and get, they would give you a code to download the game you had to physically buy it from the microsoft store to get this camo and it was one of the best looking camos in ghost it was a universal camo you could use it on every single weapon in the entire game except for secondaries because secondaries didn't have camos in that game and if you had it it was definitely something you'd rock over the gold camo because anyone could unlock the gold camo but only a hand few people actually had this spectrum camo and like codes on ebay we're going for crazy amounts and i know in previous games we've had other ways to earn this camo i think there has been some blueprints for modern warfare 2019 i think in infinite warfare it was actually one of the camos you could get out of crates but we can actually just straight up unlock it in this game and use it on every weapon it's not a crate weapon or not a crate camo like it was in infinite warfare where you had a random chance of unlocking it for a class of weapons it's not a blueprint where you only get it for one weapon it's an actual camo that you get for every weapon and we're going to unlock it in this video on the launch day of this game which i am so excited about this is going to be super nostalgic where is everyone i've got to rush around the sniper and lay down and i can't find anyone i mean we could go up here and lay. <gasps> wait can we get in that little nest thing up there there's no shot yeah it's outside of the map. we can't get up here and crone <gasps> oh hit marker rip on through the wall through the wall through the wall no oh! dude okay apparently this range is just hit marker city baby yeah see i can't play like this i hate this slow play style i gotta rush i wait is that i'd rather just rush and lay down in front of enemies that to me is what i would rather do and instead of just sit in the back of the map and lay down and wait for enemies to come across our path and i really hope that in the future they add more of these classic camos so we've already unlocked the fall camo now we're gonna have the spectrum camo I, off the top of my head i can't think of other iconic camos in cod history i mean maybe eventually we'll get like a blue tiger a red tiger i wonder if we'll ever have classic mastery camos in the future that's a cool concept but obviously that's a step above what they're currently doing but just the idea of having these og camos that are so iconic and nostalgia in the cod series dude there really is no one on this guy oh, there's someone. oh we almost okay Woo. oh another person there we go i do know one exclusive camo i would love to see in this game in black ops 3 there was a pre actually not a pre order bonus there was a promotional award before the game came out you had to order a meal at uh, i forget the name of the restaurant it was hardy's you had to order a meal at hardy's and if you entered the code that you got with your meal you had a one in three chance of getting a ketchup and mustard camo and this was one of the rarest camos you could get in black ops 3 because it was a promotional reward where you had to buy you know a meal from a restaurant right around the time the game launched and if you didn't get it then 
you can never get it again. So that would be another cool camo I'd like to see back. Obviously, that's a Treyarch camo, so it's a little bit different. Dude, enter the door. Please enter the door. Please enter the door. Oh, he's coming through this one instead. Bet. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yep. But getting other classic camos in the future isn't even that stretch of an idea because we know for a fact we are getting DLC camos in this game because the way the camo system works, there's four base camos for every single weapon that you get while grinding at gold. So for season one, when we get two new DLC weapons, every single DLC weapon we get is going to come with four brand new camos that you're going to be able to use on every single weapon. So that is a perfect avenue for them to add in more classic uh nostalgia camos in the future okay we can do the rv strap we'll just chill up here and lay prone one two three all right here we go back on top of our rv well i guess not holy crap look at all that equipment they got there they are they are posted up well at least we know for a fact the final camo challenge can't be prone kills again on thread the needle dude it, that is like the ninth time i have died to a predator missile this game all right so let's get on top of the fire truck and now we lay down the rv is gonna block us and another predator missile our cruise missile whatever on peak 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 okay he peaked Oh, dude, how have we not got this yet? Any kill now, we should be getting it. Well, that's cool. We were exactly one prone kill away. Come on, inch our way here. Come on, one kill, and then we can walk around freely. Lay down. Come on. No. Uh -huh. It's magic. Never believe it's... Oh, come on, dude. Now we're going to miss the little icon popping up. There it is. Okay, now that we're done with that, we need to proceed to get more levels on the weapon. We got to get it to level 23 before we can start doing the spectrum camo. So a uh, little bit of grinding ahead of us. There we go. Connection to Blizzard's been lost. Boop. All right, we've done a lot more grinding. We are one level away from level 20, uh, from level 23, which is going to allow us to start unlocking whatever the final challenge is. Still don't know what it is, but uh, oh, dude, I'm so ready for Spectrum. One level, so it should be ready by the end of this game. There we go, level 23. So now, you know what? I'm just, I'm ready. I think I think we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna leave game. So here we go, weapons, custom loadout for gunsmith. And then if we go down, we now have to get 21 shot, one kills. Okay, Um. yeah, safe to say that's gonna be pretty easy. Oh, there's a dude right there. All right, turn around. All right, back to normal 6v6, uh, because since this is all close range, almost all the kills we're gonna get is gonna be one shot, one kill which is what we got to do. And on this, it's probably going to be just get 25 kills with it. The cool part is once we unlock Spectrum, we're only going to be one camo challenge away from unlocking gold on this. So we'll not only have we got Spectrum this game or this uh, this video getting on this, we're going to have almost the entirety of gold unlocked for this as well. And we can use a Spectrum camo while we unlock the gold camo. Boop. Now, the real question is, are we going to be able? No, 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 no. Give me, give me, give me. There we go. And we died anyway. Ooh, now, the real question is, is can we get all 25 of these kills or all 25 of these one shot, one kills in a single match? That is, come on, come on, wait for it. There's a bucket. There's a bucket in my way. I can't see into the building because of a bucket. This little edge part of this map is so we Oh, well, that crap. On four more kills remain. Four, three, two, one. Did we get it? Did we get it? Okay, potentially one of the kills that uh, we got was an enemy shot him. If an enemy shoots him, it's not a one shot, one kill. They gotta be at full health. Zero, oh my God. Oh my, uh, 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 peek again. There we go, that's it. That is the, uh, I forgot the name of the camo. Ooh, we, oh, we got two separate camos for that? Wait, uh, apparently we got two separate challenges for that. Well, it doesn't matter, let's back out. All right, so here we go, weapons, Custom loadout for gunsmith, customize spectrum ammo, baby. However, we don't have to just use it on this weapon. We can go over to the other classes that we're going to start grinding now, like this. We can go here to gunsmith. We can go to customize camo. And now we got to scroll all the way over to classic. And this menu is a little annoying to get to. Uh, there we go. And now finally, here we are. The spectrum or the spectrums camo, as it's called in this game in Modern Warfare 2, and this looks just like it did in Ghost. This is such a nostalgic camo. I unfortunately was never able to get this camo. I was not able to get access for it. I even bought a code off of eBay and I got scammed and I never got the code. And yeah, went out of my way hardcore to get this camo on Xbox. And I was really upset that I missed out on getting it, but uh, I'm able to live those dreams here in Modern Warfare 2. Ooh, look at it with the ADS. The wait, the inspect for this weapon's not that great. The rail LMG. But dude, look at it with the uh, uh, I'm hyped. I am so hyped to have this. And I'm really glad we did this right now because we're still grinding a bunch of gold weapons. We've only got four gold weapons and one platinum weapon, meaning 
there's a lot of weapons we got to grind and we now get to use this camo on every single one of them as we work towards getting the gold, which I am ecstatic about. But uh, yeah, with that, guys, I think it's about time we wrap up this video. Let me know how you feel about the Spectrum camo, how you feel about them bringing back these classic camos. And if you want to see any more videos about Modern Warfare 2, we're going to be covering the entire camo grind, the easiest way to get any sort of camo once we're done with that, the quickest way to level up weapons, and keeping you informed on anything you could possibly want to know with the game here in Modern Warfare 2. If you left a like or a comment, it helps out my channel a ton. And uh, we're getting so close to hitting 200k subs at this point. Uh, Appreciate you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. I want to give a quick thanks to those who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member. And an extra special thanks to those who took it above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the Legend Army Tech Rex, the Absolute Chad Noah, the Homie Flicks, the Goat RPH, and then finally the man himself, No Spice.